My name is Casey Brandenburg, and today we're going. I'm going to present to you uh, Transcend 22, which is the app I've created in CS 485G. Uh, the purpose of this app is to help people track parts of their life and to help bring awareness for people parts of their life that can really make their lives better when they don't really realize it. There's some obvious ones like working out. The app will help you track some workouts and nutrition. But some other things like cold showers, people don't realize the health benefits of cold showers. Uh, just being able to log that and then using the insights feature to, to track your mood compared to your cold showers and vitamin intakes and even engaging the spiritual side of your life. All these things can really, can really make your life better in ways that you just push under the rug. So the purpose of the app is to, to kind of help you track that and just bring it to the forefront of your attention so that you can reap those benefits. So we're going to sign up real quick, which is a temporary user. We're faced with uh, our onboarding. We're going to accept all of our permissions. Now I will point out that not all of the bugs in the app are fixed. There's definitely some hitches that it's still running into, but none of them are too major. Like that one right there, for example, we'll have to do that again. Okay, so we're faced with our, our home screen and some tasks that we've created and set up the uh, vitamins, tracking daily workouts, push-ups every day, uh, stretching uh, at night before you go to bed, it's very important. Cold showers, this is my favorite one. Uh, I've gotten into cold showers recently and just the, even the documented health benefits are amazing. They can... Uh, they just, like you get out of the cold shower and you'd think you'd feel cold, but most of the time I'm burning up because your body has to start working in order to keep itself warm. And then you get out and you're not cold anymore. And then all of a sudden you start burning up and it just, it clears your mind. It's, it's great. So being able to log those, pressing the log button every time you take a cold shower and then it'll pop up in our insights review, which we'll get to in a second. And then at the same time to, to contrast the cold showers, we can track our mood. So anytime we get on the app and we're just feeling grateful, we're feeling happy, we can press this. And then whenever we go to our insights, we're comparing cold exposure and mood, as well as mood and vitamin intake. So all these things that we're tracking with the app, we're also tracking our mood so that we can see if it's actually having a tangible impact uh, with ourselves. We've got some helpful links that might help people in their, their, uh, their journey to, to getting better. Uh, some workouts from a couple different people and some motivational videos. And then we're also tracking our, our energy burned and our, our water drinks through Apple's uh, health system. And then Devin Levake, he is a, a great role model for anyone who, the typical use, use case for this app, uh, typical users could could benefit from, uh, from reading about this guy. So... Having him at the tops is good for people to explore. Insights, like I said, we're, uh, we're comparing our mood and vitamins as well as our cold exposure and mood. Uh, we've got a couple uh, contacts here, uh, chiropractor as well as Devin LeVake, some of his information so that people can go look at it. And then we've got our profile. We just made this user, so it's not gonna have any, uh, it's not gonna have any updated information so we can just fill in some some stuff just to see that it works and we can save that and that will save to our server and it'll persist uh, and then we've also got the ability to add tasks uh, for example if we wanted to add another push-ups task push-ups do your push-ups card view our push-ups is in our custom card add task and then also some of these like custom these are just things that will be uh, better labeled in the future, as well as adding more cards uh, for people to have a wider functionality. And then here's our new task for, for people to complete. So we did 10 push-ups. We can log that, and then that will persist as well. So what are we looking for in the future? A lot more. Uh, I've actually, this class has really got me really intrigued into uh, 
into app development. If I hadn't have bought this laptop, this app would not have gotten made and I would have failed the class for sure. Because driving to campus to go in the library basement really sucked. So looking forward, um, I really want to make the onboard procedure more comprehensive. I want to give a kind of a tour of the app for people to see what they're getting themselves into so they can see where to go for certain places as well as the app gets more complicated. I want them to, I want to be able to highlight some of the more deep features so that they can go straight to it. Uh, I want to add more faith-centered content. That's a big part of my life. And uh, I think for the, the user of this app, just trying to better themselves, I think the spiritual side of their life is a really big part of that. <clears throat> so getting some of that content in there. Uh, I, I mentioned more custom cards. Uh, first round of those would definitely be faith-centered. Uh, I wanted to do dark mode by default, but for the life of me, I could not figure out how to make the background dark mode. So I'm sure if I put uh, a good amount of time into that, I could figure it out. But I also want to add more diet and nutrition um, features. I feel like I didn't didn't really touch on that as much as I wanted to, but that would that would also fall into the more custom cards uh, that I'm looking for in the future. So that's my app. Uh, I appreciate it. Goodbye.